guys, this is Mara Doom Hedgehog with my December TBR. It's a pretty ambitious one again, but I'm not expecting to get into all these, and most of these are bleed overs from November, um, and I've only added a few extra titles, so let's just get into this. So, first up, I intend on finishing Wolf's Blood by Hazel West because I started it in November and I really, really want to finish it because it's really good. And I definitely intend on finishing Dracula by Bram Stoker because I'm really enjoying it. And this was a, the October read for all my book clubs. And as you can see, I kind of failed. But I am going to finish it. Um, and then, let's see if I can pull this out. I am going to read Mara, Daughter of the Nile by Eloise Jarvis McGraw. This is the December pick for my Young Adult Biblio Babble Book Club, and I actually have started reading it already, um, and really, really enjoying it so far. This is an old book, um, but it's really, really good. Yes, I'm reading a paperback. Um, and then, of course, uh, most of these titles will look familiar to you because they are bleedovers, but I have Shouldn't You Be in School by Lemony Snicket, book three in the All the Wrong Questions series. Um, the Crown of Embers by Ray Carson, the second book in the Fire and Thorns trilogy. Um, the reason I don't give synopses for these, by the way, is because I haven't read them yet and I'm really bad at giving synopses for books I haven't read. So if you want synopses, you can look them up on Goodreads or you can wait until my wrap up when I can give synopses. Um, also intend on reading Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendari Blake, the first book in the Anna duology. I really, really want to read this. I know, not really a December read, but I'm going to read it eventually. Also intend on reading The Cure for Dreaming by Cat Winters because it's a Cat Winters book, and yes, I want to read it. Still have to read Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling, the third book in the Harry Potter series. Um, I read a Harry Potter book a month, kind of fell through, but it's still on my TBR, so I'm, I am going to read it, just maybe not when I intended. Also into not reading Era of Fire by Sarah J. Moss, the third book in the Throne of Glass trilogy, because I really, really want to. Um... I also have Meritropolis by Jewel Omen. This was sent to me for review, and I do intend on getting to it. Maybe not necessarily in December. I will try. Um, but with review books, I go ahead and I'll just automatically put them on my TBR list for any month, so I know they're there. And I just read them whenever I get around to them. Right now I'm working on Wolf's Blood, so they're going to have to wait until I'm done with that. Also now reading Spark by Anthea Sharp, the first book in the Fagard book uh, series. Some of these are going to look very familiar. And then Anna by Megan Riley, the first book in the Starseed series, which is the next self-published book I actually do need to read. Um, and now some new titles. I plan on reading Moriarty by Anthony Horowitz. This is an ARC, and the actual book comes out December... Um, it doesn't tell me when exactly. I think it's like December 7 or 16, I'm not positive, but this is supposed to be coming out in December, so I'm going to hopefully read the arc before it comes out. More self-published books, uh, The Forgotten Night by Emily DeRitter. This is pretty short and it looks really awesome. And then the Fealty to the King, uh, Children of Cain by Milo Swanton. I'm not sure if the series is called Fealty to the King or if the series is Children of Cain. I'm not sure. But this is a really long one. I'll get to this one whenever I can. Like I said, I add self-published books to my TBR, and then just whenever I get around to them, I get around to them. And then some new titles I've added um, is Penny Royal Academy by M.A. Larson. Um, partially reading this for work. I mean, I bought it because it sounded good, but I am partially reading it for work because this is gonna. This was a holiday pick, and um, I need to read it so I can recommend it. And then for some short reads, I have The Princess in Black by Shannon Hale and Dean Hale uh, to just, you know, kind of liven things up and just get through, have some short reads between the long reads. I like doing that. And then I have Emma and the Blue Genie by Cornelia Funke. Um, yeah, really looking forward to reading this one. And then I have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is the December through January pick for my classics for classic ladies. Um, hopefully I can get through this and Dracula. <laughs> hopefully. And also on top of that, I didn't grab it. Um, oh dear, where is it? Okay, where are you? 
Okay, I'm not gonna pull it out, but I'm also gonna be reading Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens for the for my classics for classic ladies read. Um, because I thought we needed something Christmassy and that's really short. So yeah, those are all the books I'm going to read in December, or at least try to. Um, hope you guys are going to have a wonderful reading month, and hopefully I can read more than seven books this month. Uh, but I will see you later with my December book haul. Bye!